Today, we're doing a review on the toys. Ford Taurus been around since the 80s now gone because sedans are dying and everybody wants a crossover SUV or pickup truck <laughs> but this thing is no regular rental car <laughs> When, you know, when things are cooking, you really got to go and got to take off. This thing, uh, you know, you can give it the beans. And it's, it's going to make sure them beans go everywhere. You know, you hit the gas pedal, it's going to go. Like, I'm about to show you what happens when I give it the beans. Right now, like that. See that? It goes, you know, it's doing something. We didn't have none of this techno technology stuff back in the day. This is actually pretty good. You know, it rides nice and smooth down the highway. It's a cruiser with you know a little bit of bruiser in there, but you know it's mostly a cruiser. It, it, it just goes down the highway. You give it, you know, give it, you give it, give it a little bit. You know, oh, there got no drain. I got a little bit of torque converter shot here because. Wait, wait, here it comes because it's a Ford choke. But, you know, the last owner didn't really take good care of it. I drained the transmission fluid a couple times. <laughs> you know, I find out. Hey, you know, this is a good grocery guy. This guy's groceries. I'm doing this review because Mr. Regular didn't want to do my Taurus because he never answered my emails back. So regular car reviews, I'm doing one on my own car. <laughs> now these cars had an optional performance package or the guys on the uh, Taurus Facebook page likes to like to say my car has pp pee -pee, or it doesn't have pp no pp pee -pee. my car doesn't have pp pp pee -pee no found it's now almost 2020 and you know power power when it comes to the automotive industry power is like having taco bell and then getting stuck in the bathroom it just keeps coming there's more and more so now Three, you know, you got a Kia with 365 horsepower, and it's faster than this thing stock. The SHO was competing with the Chevy SS. <laughs> which was <laughs> V8 LS powered, and it had six-speed goodness manual transmission. Also was the Dodge Charger. SRT8 Hemi 392. Both vehicles had a V8, unlike the Taurus with a V6, although it had its turbos. It's pretty roomy. As you can see, the interior is nicely done. Everything's laid out well. It has its sync system that works okay, not too bad. It's not bad for 2011 era. This one's tuned, so I have no idea what it's pushing, but ask the all-wheel drive army on Facebook, and they'll tell you $500 tune. That's a big, heavy car. It weighs about 4,400 pounds, which is a good amount. Taurus has grown bigger and bigger every year, until now, where they decided to stab it in the back with crossover knives. All in all, I think it's a good buy. You can find them for a dime a dozen. They're super cheap.
go zero to 60 in less than five seconds with a $500 tune, bro. And you can find tons of these for less than $10,000 with some decent mileage on them. Even though it's a heavy car, it handles pretty decent. Slap shift transmission is lame because it's slap shift and not manual. As you hear, my car produces burritos out the rear. The Ford Taurus is like when you want to go fast, but not really. The Ford Taurus is like when you have a family, you can't afford an import, but you kind of want to be annoying and loud. And assume that your car is very fast, you get a Taurus. The Taurus wasn't that bad of a replacement for the Crown Vic, but now all sedans are dying out. Only time will tell if they come back. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Subscribe to the channel. I also started a Patreon if you guys want to support the channel. The link to the SS video and the Charger video are down below. Peace out, bitches.